well, you know, I had six sisters. I had Sadie and Lil and Dot and Sonia. Uh, Brocha, he was the youngest one, the one that died here. And Harry, and see, this this is out of line here. Jack, Jack should be after me. Uh huh. And then, and, after. And, and Sylvia. Oh, and this is Sylvia that you married. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. That's the other oh, yeah. Sylvia. Oh, yeah, no, that's the other Sylvia, right, that's right. Sylvia Brodsky. Right. And then Francis. So it was a big family. And then I, my mother had uh, uh, two or three children that were born, you know, in the old country and mm -hmm. died there. And then one here that died. Even for those days, it was a lot of kids. Really? Did most other families have that many? Or a lot? No, well, I guess it was large families. Six, seven, eight, something. They were, they were married very young, oh, I would say. They were probably married in their teens, 18, 20, 21, something like that. Because my father, you know, served in the uh, Russian army until he got frostbitten. And then uh, the frostbite let him out of the army. That was World War One. Yeah, well, it was before World War One, when they just drafted everybody. Uh-huh. There was a draft that he, uh, and that's when he was drafted, whether he liked it or not. <laughs> right. Because a lot of the, uh, uh, my uncles, for instance, uh, one chopped a finger off, or uh, uh, one of them just escaped to America, you know. As Jews, were they treated the same in the army? Oh, well, of course not. Right. When were the Jews ever treated the same? Is you know. When they get a government, they get an anti-Semitic government like that. The Russian Tsar uh, Nicholas was uh, terrible as far as the Jews was concerned. And, uh, that's when all the pogroms took place, and that's why my mother and father finally, you know, my father left. He was alone here for four years, and then he brought my mother over and then with, uh, with six kids. His mother was very beautiful. The daughters, the sisters were all very pretty. Yeah. Well, he was too. <laughs> <laughs> My mother came with the six children. One of the children was either crippled or something. Something had happened to her. And they wouldn't allow her. They were going to send my mother and the child back. Mm. And my, my, my uncles, her brothers, had to put up, I don't know, 15 or 20 or 25 dollars, you know, to make sure that she wasn't, but it would not become a ward of the state. Because of whatever was wrong with her? Yeah. But what, you know what was wrong with her? He, he thought maybe she might have had infantile paralysis or something like that. Right. Okay. And she died shortly after that? Yeah, she died. Within no. a year after that. <clears throat> so there really was something wrong. Oh, yeah. Well, his mother fact, had, had fact, twelve she's, births. She's, she's buried on a cemetery you know. where uh, <clears throat> I think you are. Your parents are. <laughs> no, not you. I'm here. <laughs> where um, your parents are buried, I think. How would they oh, get over? They, they were in Austria. No, I think they were in... Where you were selected? Yeah, in Woodlawn or something. Well, we never, she never had a marker or anything, so we don't know, we know where she's buried. Really? Unwept, unhonored, and unsigned. <clears throat> well, they had a lot of kids, you know. Huh? There were a lot of kids. Oh, yeah. They probably spent their time concentrating on the ones that were still alive. Yeah. Well, they probably couldn't afford it either. Right. Probably was $50 for a headstone or something. Well, there was one assistant that was left there. She may have been retired, and that's why they didn't bring her. What made uh, you think that? Huh? I don't know. Just just uh, the talk about that, so, you know. She could have stayed just because she wanted to be with her parents and somebody who had to stay there because my mother and father, oh, my mother came with six kid children and she brought her sister with her. I never knew that my grandparents just didn't exist as far as I was concerned. Never heard anything about them from Well, I never had, you know, they never came to this country, so I never had any chance to talk to them or, you know, I never knew them. 
And of course they died there and God knows what happened to them. And the most you've heard is, is well. Um, just rumors, it's all just stories. Yeah, you know. the others didn't want to talk about it. No. They, we didn't realize how important it was. That's right. My father, too, he lived with us 15 years. He never asked much, many questions. Always so busy. <laughs> it's become more of a, uh, a thing, an in thing today. I never asked my father why they changed your name. You know, I never even answered the, uh, and in my head to ask him. <laughs> <laughs> so what about your father, though? Your father was a tailor. My father came in 1910. Right. So my father worked for them, and then when he got sick, he decided to open up his own place. He, so he opened up a store, a cleaning store in Chelsea, and that's when he started to break me in, to go to Boston, to Scully Square, to show me the way how to get to Bromfield Street, pick up the stuff, come back. And then he learned how to go to Raymond's. <laughs> What about uh, the other Balakurskis, Joseph's brother and sister? Um, I don't know too much about them at all. The only ones that I knew of were the ones that my mother and father, my mother had two brothers, three brothers, and they came to this country. Mm -hmm. And that's the only way I knew them. Outside of that, I knew nothing about the family. Ask any questions? I was too young, or they just right. didn't talk about it. Uh, the only one thing I can really remember is the fact that uh, there was one one sister that was left there to take care of the, the uh, mother and father or whatever. They Charna was her name, and um, they used to. My mother would would get the brothers together and cry to them, please give me two dollars or three dollars or five dollars, whatever it is, or we can send to China so she can, you know, exist. Because mm -hmm. they had no way of, no means of, uh, of, my grandfather was the tailor or something, and uh, they had no way, means of existence or anything, except what, and then, you know, she couldn't, she was illiterate, mm -hmm. so when whoever wrote a letter, you know, was second hand. And then, you know, the same thing from this end. We sent the letter to the other end. We don't know whether they got the money, they didn't get the money, or who got the money, or anything like that. So it just went on until uh, they just died. That's how, on my father's side. His father died when he was very young. So all he had his mother, and his mother came to live with the rest of the family. And that's the uh, the grandmother that uh, my aunt, my uh, sister Lil used to talk about because she was blind. She was you know either blind or uh, she couldn't see or anything. And that and she'd take her around. And that's Yeta Riva. Yeah, that's around. interesting. And so what's missing? <laughs> I guess what would be here is uh, Yeta Riva and Alan Balakurskia, um parents. Which we, but we don't go any further back than that, no. do we? As far as well, I know. Well, we go back as far as Adam and Eve, but I don't know. <laughs> we can't trace them, really. Right. We, uh, you know, I don't think there was any records as far as, you know. They, unless there were records in the, and and the shadow was just destroyed. I'm sure that the synagogues, they didn't record. No. Well, I mean, they may have recorded, but even the synagogues were destroyed.